So doing integration by parts, definite integrals. This is not a video about integration by parts. This is just about what you do once you've got it done and you've got your definite integral. But there is a small trick that you can apply with integration by parts. So I need to determine which one my u and which one my v dash is. Um, I should use the number 1 out the front here as my v dash. So that's going to be v dash and that's going to be u. Which means that I can now put that into my integration by parts form. Now this is really the important part of the video, so it's going to be a really short one. Notice my integration by parts formula here when it comes to a definite integral. I'm allowed to put that 3 and that 1 in two places. That 3 and that 1 around that function there. And that 3 and that 1 around that function there. You might be interested in solving for yourself or proving for yourself why it is the case that we're able to do that. But hint, it's a, it's a trick that when you expand that, it's going to feel very similar to doing exactly this. Okay, so let's put uv and v dash in there and, and get this done. All right, so I've substituted them in there. I still haven't done the actual number crunching yet. That'll come in a second. Uh, just looking here, that's going to be x times 1 over x, which is going to be 1. Uh, so I'm finding the integral between 3 and 1 of the number 1. Okay, nearly there. When I integrate that, I get x between 3 and 1 there. And that's still just sort of marking time over here. And finally, now I can start subbing in that 3 and that 1. So just be careful with your positive and negative signs. We get 3 ln 3 minus 1 ln 1. Okay, and then subtract. Uh, and then 3 minus 1. Okay, so I'll bring that up to here now. So 3 ln 3 minus ln 1. Now you should look at that ln 1 and realize that that's equal to 0. e to the something equals 1. So 0 there. So we get 3 ln 3 minus 0 minus 3 minus 1. So minus 2. Okay, and that's our answer. But really the key point to take away from this is that when you're doing integration by parts in a definite integral, you can put your definite integral around this function and around this integral 